guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Maria, aka Agape Love Girl. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm here to share with you a tag video, a what's in my everyday makeup bag tag, or the what's in my everyday makeup bag tag. I was tagged by Courtney of Beauty by Coco. Um, I'll have her channel and her video linked in the description box, so if you'd like to go check her video out, you can do that. I definitely encourage you to do so. Um, now, <laughs> Let me just say something really quickly because I feel like super super nervous. I've got this dark lip on. I just filmed this entire look um, trying out some new um, products and anyways uh, the lippy I didn't like so much. It was a little bit patchy so I put a gloss on over it and I think it looks a lot better but look at this. I, I kind of think I'm gonna end up with stuff on my teeth throughout this video so I might be a little bit subconscious sub about that. Self-conscious? whatever the word is. Um, but anyways, I don't necessarily have an everyday makeup bag. Like, I, I just, um, probably embarrassingly have just too much products that I, to fit in a bag that would be like an everyday take with me kind of a bag. Um, and also I, it's not like I'm on the go that often to where I have a kind of bag to go. Um, for my everyday kind of makeup. So I just want to put that, say that first, because if I had a bag that I was stuff I was using, like, you know, kind of more frequently on the daily um, and kind of going, the products would probably be a lot differently. Um, so I just want to say that really quickly. I actually don't even remember what is in this bag that I have. This bag that I'm going to be sharing with you today is a kind of to-go makeup bag that I took with me, um, the last time I took it with me actually was when I went camping for my birthday, which was on August 8th, so quite a few months ago, and I haven't reached for this bag since, because since I've been home, I kind of have this other purse and bag that I use, which is a little smaller Betsy Johnson bag. But what I have here is this little backpack. It's a cute little mini backpack I got from Walmart. Um, and in here is uh, just kind of what I wanted to have with me on hand while I was away from home and camping. So the makeup I already know is gonna be very, very bare minim minimum, minimal makeup probably, because I didn't even end up really doing my makeup while I was camping. I just wanted to have it just in case. Anyways, enough of my rambling, let's go ahead and just get into it. But, you know, I'm just gonna go through the little pouch first because I think I have lip products in here, so it's kind of boring, but just to show you probably my obsession. Oh, I might have actually cleaned this out. Oh, okay. I think I'm about to clean this out. I remember going through this and I had like 10 lipsticks in here. So I'm just gonna pull out really quickly. Um, I have this which has some of my, my business cards in it and some change, a nail file, um, some lotion. This is the Gold Bonds Radiance Renewal Cream Lotion. Um, one of my favorite lip balms, this is the Lip Freak Buzzing Lip Balm in the fragrance Pomegranate Panic. I was wondering where this went. I love this. Yummy. Um, if you guys have not tried the Lip Freak Lip Balms and you really like an intense tingling on your lips, like I'm telling you intense, like electric fence intense, and you like that, like I do because I'm a freak, um, try these because they're amazing. <laughs> like the name of the brand is so appropriate. Um... Oh, and I have one more actually. I have another of the Lip Freaks, um, one in the, sh the scent or the flavor Butter Rum Rage, which I don't like that one as much as I like the pomegranate one. And then I also have this Lip Sense Moisturizing Lip Balm. This stuff is actually really amazing for super, super dry lips. And then I have a Walmart gift card, which I think was actually my son's that he won a little shopping spree for having like like doing really well in school anyway so that's it for the fr front pocket kind of boring but let's go ahead and just dig into the the main thing here all right so i do have really quickly in the little zipper pocket some take with me flossers and uh some tampons <laughs> very personal i have my little uh i always take like or like to take with me a little uh notebook to write down things like if I have ideas sometimes I get ideas for like videos or makeup ideas or like blog posts or just things I like to have that in there to to write with um <laughs> more chapstick this or lip balm but this is actually the chapstick brand this is the strawberry ice pop this is a yummy flavor mmm I wondered where that went but yeah I got that in the summer <laughs> I have another lip balm this is actually the chapstick brand as well and the peppermint flavor which I love 
some pens. Okay, I have two pairs of sunglasses. These are cute little ones that I think I either just got at Payless maybe or Walmart. And then a pair of key sunglasses. Anyways, these are my cute key sunglasses. Key? Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah, I think that's... I always want to say Quay because I'm a nerd. Gum. And then I have this little baggie. So let's see what's in this one. I also have a bigger bag that has actual some makeup items. We're kind of going through this pretty quickly because, I, you know, it's kind of boring. But I still wanted to share with you just in case you guys were curious what I take with me if I'm traveling. Camping lace. If I were traveling somewhere where I was actually going on a trip, like I uh, went with my husband, I think back in June, we traveled across country um, to visit some friends in Alabama and then my nephew in Tennessee. Tennessee? I think Tennessee. So we traveled across country uh, and we only had a week. So literally we booked it. Let me just say I'm going to sidetrack here on a little story. How are my teeth doing? Um, we, we booked it basically. So we just, we didn't get to like stop and lounge around and hang out in, in the different states. We kind of just, we like went through like several states in one day and we only got to um, uh, really spend the night and then wake up and, and keep traveling because we wanted to spend the majority of our time with our friends in Alabama and then my nephew in Tennessee. So um, unfortunately, like we didn't get to really enjoy the cross country trip, which uh, I don't want to say that we did enjoy the cross country trip, but not leisurely, I should say. Anyways, but I took this same bag and um, filled this these other same smaller bags inside of it with different items. Um, and that probably would have been a little bit more interesting to share. Actually, I did share it on Instagram, I think. Anyways, <laughs> sidetracking. So this is, like I said, a little bit more boring, a little bit more basic. Um, in this little bag, I have my doTERRA peppermint beadlets. Um, and these are literally just little beads filled with peppermint essential oil to freshen your breath and all that stuff. I was wondering where these went as well. I forgot that I had these. <laughs> Um, and then I have another lotion. This is the Avon Naturals. You can't even see it. It's all scratched up, but it's the vanilla scent, which I love, love, love the vanilla lotion and fragrant um, body spray from Avon. Okay. And then I also have, this is some, uh, this is kind of like my little uh, mini necessities bag. I do have some more flossers, which like, wow, I just really want to make sure I had floss. I have an elastic hairband. Oh, I have in a small little sample bottle of a, a Serenity as, um, essential oil for because that helps with sleep. So I had taken that with me to help me in case I was having trouble sleeping while we were away. Um, I have, I was wondering where these went too. Oh my gosh, I've been looking for these things. I am such a mess. Like <laughs> anybody else, like when you go somewhere, I think there's a meme about this, but like, okay, say if you're traveling, you wait literally till the last minute, like maybe the night before or a couple hours before you have to leave to pack. That is me. Terrible, I know, but I do. Usually I don't wait till like an hour before I leave, but I, I usually pack the night before. I just have to. I don't want to like have things anyways. But then when I get home, it usually takes me like three months to unpack things until I'm like looking for stuff and I'm like, where is it? And I'm like, oh, maybe it's in that bag that still has stuff from that trip. That's, that's this right now. So, um, I have, oops, dropping stuff now. Um, I have some, what are these called? Bobby pins. Um, and here's what I was looking for. I have some tweezers, which these are my favorite. I really, really like these ones. That's probably why I took them. Um, I, got, I think I got these in a subscription box a long time ago. Really cute. I, I guess from the brand Sweep. Checking my teeth. Um, so those, that's what's in there. I also have this mini pair of tweezers, which I usually like to keep in my purse anyways. These are uh, really good too, even though they're tiny, but these actually work really well. They're from Anastasia. I had purchased them many years ago in like a little um, a sample kit. It was like a tiny little sample of the um, brow pencil, their tiny thin brow pencil, uh, the brow gel, and then this, which I actually just threw away the brow gel in an empties video I filmed a couple days ago. It should be up already. I'll have it linked. Um, and that's what made me fall in love with that brow gel. The pencil I ended up hating because literally it was so tiny and there was so such a little tiny bit amount that I literally, I, for the first time used it, I filled in one brow and it ran out before I could even get to the other brow. <laughs> terrible. I was like, this is awful. But of course, like I always say, I fully fill in my brows. I don't create the hair strokes. I fill my brows in um, when I'm filling them in. Obviously today they're a little bit more feathery. 
Uh, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, funny story. I was not happy and it was kind of an expensive little kit. It was ridiculous, but kind of worth it, I guess, because the brow gel was really good and these tweezers are actually really good too. And then the last thing that was in this tiny little bag is this little extractor tool, which this side broke off. This um, had a little loop in it or on it and then it has this side which is a little bit more flat and I like to use this for um, kind of scraping which sounds terrible I know but like um, if you kind of press against your nose or wherever you might have a black head or a white head to kind of extract them I'm kind of obsessed with extracting pimples and acne and stuff like that so I like to take one with me especially if I'm traveling especially camping because you know you're kind of a little bit more dirty and dusty than you would be and you're you're getting all grimy and so just in case I had any kind of issues I wanted to have my extraction tools on hand moving on to the last bag in here this says give me some sugar this is actually a bag that I received from the brand fresh I'm pretty sure with their sugar lip balm and sugar um, lippies in it, but I use it all the time for my makeup when I am traveling. So let's see what's inside here. Lots of goodies, it looks like. I have a plastic um, ba a sandwich bag filled with baby wipes. Pretty sure that, yeah, this is probably full. It's all dried out now, but I probably kept these on hand for like either wiping my hands or face or whatever while I was out and about camping or for if you need to go to the bathroom and there's no toilet paper or really no real bathroom, you gotta do what you gotta do. I had those on hand. Next up, I got another little sandwich baggie filled with um, some sunscreen. This is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost uh, SPF 30, which was really good. This one was really highly recommended a lot this summer, and so I picked it up and I really liked it. So um, that's why I just put it on. <laughs> Then I have another lotion here. What the heck? Oh, I'm like drowning in lotions here. Um, this is the Aveeno Daily Lotion. These are just like samples. That's probably why. I have just all these little samples of lotion that I just throw in this pack in case I might need it. Um, so an Aveeno lotion, the sunscreen. And then I have this. This is the uh, Herpesin L um, SPF 30 uh, lip balm. This is actually like um, a cold sore lip balm. It's, you know, like a medicated one. Um, I actually received this for review, even though I've never, and not that I have to be like, I never had a cold sore. It's nothing to be embarrassed about if you get them. I just, I personally have never gotten a cold sore, but I was really intrigued to um, review it and try it just because um, they said that it's it works for more than just cold sores. Like if you have really bad chapped lips, this works really, really great for that. So it's like, oh, I want to give it a try because uh, I do get very badly chapped lips and I am a lip balm junkie. So I was really curious to give it a try. Um, I'll put my, I did, it was a blog post blog post, a blog post review. I'll link it if anybody's curious to learn a little bit more about this lip balm, but it's actually really good. It has like a vanilla scent to it, um, and it works amazingly for chapped lips. So whether you get cold sores or not, I do recommend this lip balm if you're looking for a really great healing lip balm. Plus it has the SPF 30, which is really great, especially in the summer, which is why I obviously had it in my bag. I mean, all year round you need sunscreen, but I really wanted to make sure I had this um, in there as well for being, I knew it would be out in the sun and stuff like that. Um, and it's available at Walmart and it's like $4 or something really cheap. So considering it's like a medicated kind of brand kind of a thing or medicated product, like it's, it's fairly, um, affordable. Okay. So now finally getting more to the, the good stuff. Okay. So I have a mirror. This is my cute little compact mirror um, that I got from Forever 21 a long time ago. Oh, I have an eyeliner, a black eyeliner. This is my Aqua XL um, eye pencil in the shade M10 from Makeup Forever. M10 is just their matte black liner. I have, oh, okay, this is my um, Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel which i've had this for a little while i'm surprised it's even still good um this is one that i i did purchase um after i tried the sample one it took me a long time to purchase but i finally bit the bullet and purchased it because i really really liked it um but i kind of gradually stopped using it as much when i switched over to the it cosmetics brow power palmade um because i just like that one so much better so this kind of became my like throw in my travel bag one um so that's clearly what this was. Um, then, oh, speaking of fresh, um, I have another lip balm. Um, this is the Fresh Sugar Lip Caramel Hydrating Cream. So I have barely used it. I've taken a little dent into it, but this stuff is actually amazing. Oh my God. Oh, smells so good. Just like caramel sugar. Yummy, yummy, yummy. 
Um, then I did bring uh, uh, my little finger sponge, so I knew I wouldn't be doing like foundation or anything crazy, but I, and I didn't want to bring brushes or a sponge that I had to get wet. So when in doubt, I always bring my little finger sponge because it's really quick and easy to use. It doesn't require water. Love it. I have a bunch of these. You guys know you see me using them all the time, so I had one in my travel bag. I didn't even notice I had it, anyone missing. Um, and then to go along with that, what I brought was my CoverGirl um, Vitalist Healthy Elixir Concealer. I don't know what the shade is because they didn't put shades on this, but uh, it's one of the light ones, clearly. I have, it's used quite a bit of it, um, but I will just say it does take quite a bit of product to even get any kind of coverage. This is a very, very lightweight concealer that doesn't give a ton of coverage, but that's probably why I packed it in this bag for the summer because I knew I wouldn't be wearing a ton of makeup and I didn't want it to look like I was wearing a ton of makeup. This is one I could just throw on really quickly under my eyes. Um, like I didn't want to do a full face of makeup. We were camping with some friends. I didn't need to glam up, but I did want to just have a little bit of coverage under my eyes so I didn't feel so zombie-like and so that's kind of what this does. It doesn't totally conceal my dark circles but it helps it even out my skin a little bit there so that's why I, I remember bringing that. Um, then for mascara I brought the L'Oreal Voluminous um, Curved Brush which I don't even think I even ended up using this at all so I have this. I remember buying it because I one of my friends I was like, what mascara do you use? Your lashes look amazing. And she was like, oh, it's the L'Oreal Voluminous. Um, so I purchased it because I was like, I kind of want to just try it. And I thought I'd just take it with me camping, but I never ended up using it. And it's been in this bag, so I should probably use it. Although I know mascaras expire after, <sighs> you know what? It's funny because I'm just going to tangent again. Most people say, oh, you should throw away your mascaras after three months. Um, that's the expiration. No, actually that's wrong. Most mascaras, <laughs> sorry, that was so aggressive. Most mascaras, at least in my experience that I've always noticed, mascaras expire after six months, not three months, but people are all like really adamant about discarding your mascaras at three months. And I understand kind of like bacteria wise and stuff, it's probably safer to, to discard after six months, after three months. But six months, usually if you look on any of the boxes, everyone that I've seen all say six months after opening. So I still feel like it's safe. What is it? This was August, so September, October, November, December, so four months. So I still got two months left to use this. I'm going to keep it out and use it. <laughs> it was so weird. I don't even know if I like it, but I'm curious. I didn't ever get to try it. Okay, and then I had this lip gloss. Um, this is the It Cosmetics Je Ne Sais Quoi, um, Your Perfect Pink Vitality Gloss Stain. And it looks like it's pretty much empty. I think this is done for. It kind of looks gloopy and gross in the tube, and it's a, there's a lot that's, like, empty. But, oh, it still smells good. Oh, I'm still gonna use this. I don't care. <laughs> I will use it till it's gone, but you could see look at how much is gone I love this lip gloss. It is um, kind of like a pinky gloss, but it does as it goes on your lips It gets a little bit more pink. It kind of uh, meshes with your pH and you know your temperature to Adhere to make your perfect pink on you and it smells like white chocolate So so good. I love this. I can't believe this has been hiding in there that whole time I've missed it and I didn't even remember that I missed it <laughs> But I did. Now that I see it, I'm like, I miss you. I want you back. I want you back. Um, last item in there is another extraction tool, uh, which I have a ton of these all over my house. <laughs> um, and I have some in my bathroom. I have a whole little set. But this is one I just took with me because, again, like I said, I like to have these with me in case any little ugly friend wants to pop up on my face and I want to pop them out. Um, so this is more so like what it, the other one was supposed to look like. The other one is just this bit, but um, the other side is like a little loopy tool that you could kind of press and pop your um, blackheads and, and zits and things like that. So that was it. That's what I took with me camping this summer. <laughs> um, I don't know if that was boring or interesting or not or tells you anything about me personally, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this kind of what's in my bag tag video and seeing everything that was in my um, my travel summer makeup bag. Uh, if you guys want to do this um, tag, I might tag people. I don't know who I'm gonna tag. I, I don't I don't do tag videos often, so and I don't know who's really done this. Um, but maybe I'll tag like um, Katie. Uh, Lady Katie here on YouTube or from my vanity. I always say Lady Katie. I think that's what she goes by on Instagram. So maybe I'll also tag um, Lauren 
uh, Little Blushing Birdie. I'm trying to think who else are my YouTube friends. I feel like I know I have other YouTube friends, but I also at the same time I'm feeling right now like I don't have any YouTube friends. Who are my YouTube friends? I don't know. I can't think off the top of my head. <sighs> Those are two I can think of off the top of my head. If I can think of anybody else that I want to tag, I will tag them in the description box. Um, but even if I don't tag you, if you're not tagged and you are a YouTuber and would like to do this tag and share what's in your bag, uh, feel free to film this video and let me know and I will head over to watch it. But yeah, with all that being said, that's it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And until next time, much love and hugs to you. Bye, beauty babes. Mwah! Oh, what the heck? Look at this. I can you right there. I've got some sun peeking through my window and shining onto my background. I'm about to fix that. But I, I can tell I have stuff in my teeth. I think so. I uh, Oh my god. All right. So in the little bag. Now I'm like gray looking. Great. That's just garbage. What else is new in a purse? Um, and uh, la la <laughs> um, this? More garbage. This is like a cleaning. I have a Dutch Bros um, gift card sleeve, so not the actual <laughs> gift card. So I might in the end, like, uh, I'm a mess. <laughs> um, the Lip Freak, hold on, I dropped it. That is no bueno. Lots of garbage. My gosh, I have, oh wow, a uh, broken Fields of Faith bracelet probably look it I'm pretty sure this is one my son chewed up let me fix that light because it's gonna drive me nuts my curtain is just open just slightly